Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to tell if you need more memory. Uh, the first thing is you hit Control Alt Delete, Control and Alt are on the bottom left hand side of your keyboard next to your space bar. One says CTRL, the other one says ALT. Push both those uh, keys down, hold them down, and then push Delete, and you'll get this screen. Now to tell if you need more memory, if you look under Comet Charge, or first of all, if you don't have this screen, click Performance at the top. And then if you look under Comet Charge, you'll see Total. That's this number here. If this number ever gets higher than under Physical Memory, under Total, if it gets higher than this number, uh, the odds are you need more memory. Uh, another way to tell is if this number is lower or close to this number and say you open Word or if you're an AutoCAD user or doing a lot with photo editing or video editing any memory intensive program um, you might as well throw some memory in there um, the more memory the better you can never have too much 32-bit uh, windows uh, which used to come on computers as standard but now they're getting towards 64-bit but 32-bit uh, its max is actually 3.5 gigs. You can put 4 in it. Um, and I think it uses it. It might not, but it doesn't show it. I have 4 gigs in mine, and as you can tell, it only shows 3.25. Um, so, whether it uses it or not, I don't know. But 64 bit, uh, it can go, I think the sky is the limit. Uh, so, you can put 6 gigs in it, and Windows will use all 6 gigs of memory. Uh, but that's how you tell if you need memory. Just make sure this number never exceeds this one. All right, YouTube. Well, that's how you do that. Uh, if anything else you want to learn how to do or having trouble with, feel free to leave a comment or email me at who took the names 2000 at gmail.com. All right, have a good one, YouTube.